Shalom. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule out for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect. To you brothers out there across the globe pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. To you few sincere sisters who hearken as well diligently. Peace, love, and blessings. Chaya here back with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim And I'm going to just make this real quick. All right, this is um, this is on uh, the great Yaki Awakened. All right, this is on his page, uh, Yaki Awakened. All right, and um, this was made almost a day ago. In the video, I'm going to play, I'm actually going to play the whole clip. Because um, what he's talking is, is really nonsense, man. All right, so as you can see from the title of his video, you are not designed to eat meat, to eat animals, excuse me. You are not designed to eat animals. All right, then he, you know, makes a little, he posts the little icons of the cow, the pig, and what appears to be a rooster. All right. So um, I'm going to just go into this real quick and talk about how, you know, he's, he's, he's basically tripping. Long story short, because... We were designed to eat meat, just like, you know, the animals in the wild are were designed to, you know, uh, 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 prey on each other. OK, how the animals, you know, who who eat meat are designed to eat meat. Even even you got certain certain um more herbivorous animals that eat meat as well. And I actually found that out from, you know, a young man named Casual Geographic. All right. I think the video is called an unspoken rule of nature, but I digress. Right, so I'm going to play the clip real quick. You will cook the meat. You're going to cook all the blood out of the meat, which is where all the nutrients at. Right? And you black people, we want our shit well done. Yeah. Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that look, so true. check this out. You wouldn't eat that meat unseasoned. We talk about white people for doing that all the time. Because yeah. they're close to the carnivores than us. They don't need seasoning on their meat. That's why they eat their meat bland. Because they got the hydrochloric acid to actually break their food down, too. But that's a different topic, though. But check this out. You are so much of a frugivore and ogivore, you would get that meat, you would cook all the blood out of it because you ain't finna eat no bloody meat because you're not a carnivore. And guess what you put on top of it? Vegetables and fruits. Yep. Tomatoes, fruit. Lettuce, vegetables. Pickles, fruit, vegetables, whichever culture you... So b before he continues on, I want to I wanna jump back to something real quick, right? What you put on top of it? Vegetables and fruits. That's a different topic, though. But check this out. You are so much of a frugivore and ogivore, you would get that meat, you would cook all the blood out of it because you ain't... So, so now in the scriptures, it, it talks about this, not only in Leviticus, the, uh, the 11th chapter, which, well, excuse me, Leviticus, the 11th chapter gives you the dietary law. Let me just first and foremost say that now in, in, in the book of Genesis, going back to the book of Genesis. All right. If you want to take it as far as back as, um, the, uh, the story of Jacob and Esau. Okay. Our forefather, Isaac. Okay. When, when he was, you know, nearing his, um, his 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 demise all right when he was about to you know lay lay to rest and things of that nature okay he he wanted esau edom all right esau to his firstborn son to bring him some some uh some um some uh some meat okay he wanted him to bring him some meat all right so he could give him a blessing all right and, and well before that all right in the ancient world before that also in the book of genesis it talks about how Abel's sacrifice was better than Cain's sacrifice because, as a matter of fact, hell, let's pull it out real quick, okay? Let's pull it out real quick because these, these, because Yaki is just another one of those who's just in the generation of niggas who don't know what the hell they're talking about, man. Okay, now, now, granted, because I don't want to take away from you know his his information and things of that nature. A lot of things that he says is beneficial, okay. However, when it comes to this whole thing about meat and saying that we we we're not designed to, you know, eat meat, that's 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 off. That's totally wrong. Now, this isn't to say that you can't survive for a long time without eating meat because you can. There's plenty of herbivore, you know, uh, um, or I, I should say vegans and you know individuals who follow the herbivore diet. All right, uh, um. Who and who have followed it, you know, for many years, and and even um, or I should say, vegetarians and things of that nature. All right, you got plenty of people out here who have followed those diets for a very long time, and you know they've maintained some some type of you know some some health. Okay, however, 
plant like plants and animals obviously are extremely different all right there's nutrients that you can get from animals that you just can't get from plants all right like like when you go into um it's so like i'm gonna get into the scripture but um when you when you go into uh when you go into you know nutrition and you know muscle building and breakdowns and things of that nature all right there are certain animal proteins that gives you more strength than animal protein or plant I'm just like it. animal proteins that give you more uh, uh, nutrients than plant proteins. Our right? animal proteins and plant proteins are very different. OK. And the Lord made it. The Lord made it to where we can eat certain types of beasts. OK, we can eat certain types of beasts. OK, we can't eat all beasts. We can only eat certain types of beasts. All right. So the Lord designed us. All right, I'm going to use the word that he used. The Lord did design us to, to be able to consume to consume meats. OK. Um, let me see, because I wanted in the, that Hebrews is heavy as well. But I wanted in, um I wanted in Genesis. All right. There's a book of Genesis chapter four, verse one. It says, and Adam knew Eve, his wife, meaning, you know, Adam slept with his wife, Eve. It says, and Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. OK, so Cain was the firstborn. Verse two, and she again bare his brother Abel and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a teller of the ground. In the in, in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. <laughs> OK, so Cain brought an offering to the heavenly father. All right. And he and it says what brought of the fruit of the ground. OK, so Cain brought forth fruit for the Lord. All right. Verse four, it says in Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Okay, now, now, why, why, why was Abel's offering more respected above Cain's offering? All right, because Cain, because Abel put in his, 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 while he took care of the sheep, he put his best sheep forward. Okay, and that's what you got to do in his truth, man. You got to put your best foot forward, man. So when, when you sacrifice to the Lord, all right, then Yahweh Shah being the greatest example. All right, Yahweh Shah didn't offer up a shadow of himself. He didn't offer the Most High when he when he got crucified. He didn't offer a, a, a straw man. Yahweh Shah gave himself up for the nation of Israel. All right, just just like Abel gave up, you know, what uh, uh, his um more than likely his his best sheep at the time for the Lord, man. And the Lord had more respect unto Abel's sacrifice, man. OK, now now, yes, this is going to sacrifices and offerings. But the reason why it ties into this video is because once again, Yaki Awakened is talking about, you know, we're not designed to eat meat. Well, the most high is pleased by, you know, us sacrificing meats unto him. OK, therefore making it good for us to, you know, consume meat. All right. But you got these these over righteous, these. <laughs> these vegan Nazis out here that are saying, you know, don't kill animals and yada, 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 and all this other who run, who dead, and things of that nature. There, there needs to be balance in this life, man. Are you, hell, you got people out here that strictly eat meat. Okay? Because some of them have, you know, certain autoimmune diseases that, that you know, causes them to, you know, so many words, have to eat or stick to a certain diet. I like, um, uh, what's that show name? Michaela Peterson. All right? Jordan Peterson's daughter. She only eats meat. I think they call it the lion diet or something like that. But she only eats meat because, you know, she has a certain, you know, autoimmune disease that, that you know, if she eats certain things, it could it could throw her off physically. All right. But going back to the point, the Lord has made it OK for us to eat certain beasts, man. All right. The Lord is the, the Lord. You know, when we sacrifice, when we did sacrifice, you know, burnt offerings and bullocks and things of that nature to the Lord, he was pleased. And, and, and making actually making meat sacrifices, you know, was was one of the ways to where we we atone for our sins, man. All right. So eating meat is very important. 
Okay? But if, if Yaki was spiritual, okay, if he was truly awakened, then he would know that. All right? Which he's more than likely aware of, uh, aware of it, but he, he's not following by it. Okay? But continuing on. Meat, you cook all the blood out of it because you ain't finna eat no bloody meat because you're not a carnivore. And guess what you put on top of it? Vegetables. All right, now he mentioned he mentioned he mentioned you know uh uh not eating bloody meat, which which there's a reason why Jake do that. There's a reason why our people do that, man. That's actually in our law. Okay, matter of fact, let me pull it real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. Blood. Let me see. Let me see, Salaki, just bear with me, because the, the scriptures talk about how there's not supposed to be any blood. As a matter of fact, that's in, um, whatchamacallit, that's in, um, that's when it's talk about the, uh, the, the, the Passover, the Passover. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Slack you. Where's the uh Passover? Was the Exodus the twelfth chapter? There we go. Exodus twelve verse eight. Okay, this is this is the, the in the instructions for the Passover. All right, that that took place in the time of the Egypt of the Egyptian captivity that we was in. All right, Exodus twelve, and I'm gonna just get to the point. Verse eight, it says, "And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread." So we have to cook our meat. Okay, it says, "Roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it." Okay, so this is the meal for the Passover. All right, which is coming up on us. Verse 9, it says, eat not of it raw. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire. His head with his legs and with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. Okay, and, well, and, that, was, and that was really the point on that. The point was really in, in verse 9. We're not supposed to eat. All right, the lamb or the goat, all right, all right, it could be a goat or a lamb on a Passover, we're not supposed to eat it raw, okay, same thing with the other beasts that we're allowed to eat, because when you eat, when you, what, what happens when you eat, you know, a, a um, you eat, um, a, a raw, raw steak or lamb or chicken, you can get, you can get a certain sickness, man, all right, eating raw chicken, you get salmonella, okay, because it doesn't digest well, it doesn't digest properly within our bodies, man. Okay, and, and same thing when when you eat, you know, undercooked beef, all right, and things of that nature, man. You could you could potentially get a tapeworm. All right, so so any any beast that we, you know we're allowed to eat and you know have as food, we're not supposed to be eating it raw, and there's still nutrients in it. Okay, there's still nutrients in it. That's one common misconception. That people take on that if you, you know, you uh, and it, it does go with with certain foods. All right. But but not with meat. OK, when you when you cook the meat, you still the nutrients are still inside of it. They might be a little less, but the nutrients are still inside of it, man. You're still getting those those nutrients. OK, when you cook it. All right. So, no, we're not we're not we're not going to eat our, our meat bloody or raw and things of that nature. OK, we're not going to eat it medium rare either. All right. Because you, you even though even though that comes from Esau, you so-called white people. OK. Even though that comes from them, you still got some of our people who, you know, do that as well, who, who eat meat, you know, a medium rare. All right. Which that's going off because it's still bloody. Vegetables and fruits, yep. tomatoes, fruit, lettuce, vegetables, pickles. Fruit, vegetables, whichever culture you want to come from. You see that? Mustard, mustard seed. That's a fruit. 
ketchup come from tomato that's another fruit then you put grains vegetables a vegetable seed on top of it and call it a hamburger bun hold on let's not talk about the freaking seasoning that you see which this is acceptable as well it's our it's okay for you to season your food all right, because one common misconception in, in there, there's seasoning and then there's over seasoning. All right. Let everything be done in moderation and balance, man. OK, once again, Yaki, he's just another one of these individuals who fit in with the generation of individuals who, who, who act like they know every damn thing, man. But they're not spiritual. They're not spiritual. All right. They're not truly awakened. OK, you can season your food. All right, the scriptures talk about, even in the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, it talks about how we had spices and things of that nature that we would use for the food. Hell, you need, we need, we, we had, we use spices to make bread. All right, to make different types of bread, man. Okay, come on now, man. Season that meat up with to make it taste good. You done did everything in your power to get away from the meat. You season it with paprika. You season it with cilantro. You season it with lemon pepper. You season it with all these fruits, vegetables, and herbs, and then you put all fruits, vegetables, herbs on top of it just to eat it for it can taste good. Yeah. So technically, meat don't even taste good in its natural state to you. It's natural state to you. It's natural state to you. Yeah, these guys just say everything, man. Okay, but you know, you 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 get the point, man. And once again, the uh the law, the Levitical law. All right. In Leviticus, the 11th chapter, you can read this for yourselves. All right. But the, the law states, all right, the law talks about the different types of beasts that we can and we can't eat all the way from the land animals to the air. All right. To the sea and things of that nature. This talks about the, the different types of, of beasts that we can consume. All right. Even even insects. All right. Did you know we can eat insects as well? All right. So you can go through and read this, this chapter for yourselves and things of that nature. And, and, and what if you if you're real diligent, look up the different types of, of animals that's mentioned in it. OK, do your research. You know, you, you might be able to find a, a, a type of animal to or, or insect to eat that could that could help whatever you got going on within yourself, man. OK. We, we live in the age of information, man. And when you look up, when you look up. When you look up nutrients in steak, all right, it gives you all of this. Then I want to people also ask, how healthy is eating steak? It says steak contains micronutrients. It includes several B vitamins, including B12, which is crucial for developing red blood cells and nerve function, which makes sense, all right, because because uh, eating, those, eating the flesh of animals, it builds on our flesh, man, Okay. It says steak is also a good source of zinc, all right, which zinc all right, helps the production of testosterone for us men, okay? This says selenium and phosphorus, essential for supporting a robust, a robust immune system, bones, and healthy cellular functions, okay? And once again, everything done in moderation, man. This is why what? You you eat, you know, your meats with a, 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 a well-balanced meal, man, all right? Growing up, my mother always, you know, uh, taught taught us to, to, to eat what a uh, uh, meat to have a meat a starch and a vegetable okay let me see um nutrition facts of say you could look all of this stuff up for yourself man especially for you brothers that exercise like myself okay you could look all of these things up all right you could look all of these things up and you know red meat yeah it, it helps it's, it's it's better used to to help um repair your, uh, your 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 muscles all right so whenever your muscles get damaged after you work out or maybe you know you're a brother that trains to failure often the things of that nature man red meat helps replenishes your muscles okay you see that there's this there's, there's so many nutritional there's so much nutritional value in this man but you got once again these guys who act like they know what the hell they're talking about man all right which people are going to eat meat regardless and things of that nature and there's absolutely, once again, there's, I'm, this, just a disclaimer. There's absolutely nothing wrong with brothers, you know, being, being, um, uh, 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 vegetarians or, or vegans and things of that nature. However, when the Passover comes, all of that stuff is non existent, man. Are right, you're, you're eating a lamb or a goat on the Passover. 
All right, all of that. Oh well, I, I'm a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. I can't eat meat. I know it's the Passover. I'll just get a a a, a, a um a lamb tasting bean. What? No, there's there's none of that, man. All right, that's that's totally going off. Uh, that's totally going off, and the Lord could the Lord could smite you for that. All right, not even trying to be funny. The Lord could smite you for that. All right, because you got a lot of jakes out there that's just like, well, with that mindset. You know, oh, I'm a vegan, so I'm not going to eat meat on the Passover. I'm sure the Lord would understand, and yada, yada, yada. No, the Lord is not hearing that. All right, so that was really the point on that. All right, let me um, let me get this as well, all right, because I have brought up, you know, the Jacob and Esau situation. Genesis, it was actually 27, so like you. Genesis 27, all right. Genesis 27 and 1, it says, And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Okay, so Isaac was, was you know, uh, uh, on, a, you know on the edge of death, but he, was, he, was, he knew he was about to pass on. All right. Verse three, it says, now, therefore, take, I pray thee, thy weapons and uh, thy quiver and thy bow and go out to the field and take me some venison. Our venison is dear. It says, and make me savory meat such as I love. OK, so so if and because you got a lot of people out here that are just like, oh, eating meat short is your lifespan. No, it doesn't, because back in the ancient world, we was eating meat all the time, just as well as fruits and vegetables, man. OK. We was the healthiest we ever were back in the ancient world because we knew how to eat. We knew the correct uh, uh, portions. All right. We, we knew our everyday activities. We knew what we had to do. So we was eating meat just as well as vegetables and, and fruits and things of that nature, man. All right. Meat doesn't shorten your lifespan. Now, the food in general today shortens uh, 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 can help shorten our lifespan because a lot of it is artificial a lot of it is artificial food okay that's why we got seedless lemons and seedless watermelons and and things of that nature man because we're being poisoned today we're being poisoned today but back in the ancient world there was no such thing as gmos all right but reading on it says and make me savory meat verse four such as i love and bring it to me that i may eat that my soul may bless thee before I die. All right, so there you go, man. So Isaac, in his old age, all right, he he wanted he wanted Esau to to make him some some savory meat, some venison. All right, so this is just and this is just one scripture. This is just one scripture that goes back to how you know uh, uh we did eat meat in the ancient world and and meat it, meat once again is good for you. Okay, now like I said, for you brothers and sisters that that exercise. All right, eating, eating, there's nothing wrong with eating, you know, red meat and things of that nature, man. But uh, but in balance, in balance, all right, because a lot of food out here is toxic for us, okay? There's, there's certain animal proteins that are more beneficial for your body than plant proteins, okay? Certain animal nutrients that are way more beneficial than plant nu uh, nutrients, okay? But it all ties in when you eat it in balance, man. So always eat a well-balanced meal, man. All right. Like I said, and I, I'm not going to take away from Yaki. I'm not going to take away, you know, from Yaki. You know, he's doing this thing out there with the trying to get everybody to eat more uh, fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. However, he was wrong in saying we weren't designed to eat meat. All right. Yes, we were, because if we wasn't, then we wouldn't have. It's so like it because I'm not a biologist or nothing like that. The. um. Uh. What are the fang? Yeah, what are the fang teeth called? The canines. There we go. Canines. Or however you pronounce that. Canines. All right. And and when you look at when you look at you know cats and dogs and other animals and things of that nature that that have these canines. All right. These 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 help these help us bite and devour. All right, you know, uh, thicker substances such as meat. Okay, uh, it's it's to help us bite and devour different uh, uh, um substances like that. 
Okay, so we are designed to, to eat meat. All right. But however much meat you eat is all up to you. All right. Through the spirit. Once again, let everything be done in moderation. With that being said, Shalom.